hello everyone today i'm going to show you how to uh, dig terrain and create caves if you want on the in the runtime like this here you can see now we have a hole in the ground like a cave and also spider if you want you can uh, right click and shoot blue bullets that fill and create gaps uh, bridge gaps like this so you can create a bridge for yourself as well so you can cross cross gaps and if i go into the tunnel you can see i can go into the ground and dig further and further okay so this is what we are going to work on today creating digging tiles in the ground and creating bridges by filling ground and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from my patreon page once you become a member you can download anything any project file for all of these projects without any limits to the date there are over 2000 videos and for each video project files are available and this project is sponsored by this generous patron oriel fumado all right now let's get into the project okay so for this i'm gonna use this uh, voxel plugin free legacy version so here make sure that you have uh, added it to your library uh, this is free you can get it for free then add it to your library after that it will appear if you go to the epic launcher under library first select 5.4 and then you will have this fab library uh, tab under unreal engine library here find voxel it should B U V here voxel plugin free legacy install uh, to unreal engine select 5.4 or whatever the engine version that you are planning to use uh, the voxel plugin let's give it a good time to install all right it's installed now i'm gonna launch unreal engine 5.4 okay now the engine is opening all right now let's go to games and i'm gonna choose a blueprint project and as the starting point let's use the first person uh, template i'll name the project clm digging because i'm planning to dig a cave uh, we don't need any of this starter content just the first person template and create and project is loading all right so this is what you get if you play now here you have you can pick up the weapon and show it. okay but this is not the level that we are going to use so you have all the first person character related blueprints in this folder you need that later now let's create a new level oh before that we need to enable voxel plugin here here and we have to restart okay project restarted and after that you should notice this voxel related assets here and if not you can type here voxel to get all those things so now let's create a new level using this basic because it has all the lights we need and let me remove the flow and also this is starting position and i'll select set the first person game mode so that when i play i will have the first person character now let me add 
Voxel world into this project so this is what you get by default and if you want to make this a bit more interesting here select the Voxel world and under the generator class select something else maybe this tools or whatever that works creators where is it oh it's a word cliffs okay right i'm gonna go with this uh, voxel example iq nice and then uh maybe somewhere around here would be a good starting point so i'll add the play start here and also i'll place the pickup rifle blueprint here right now make sure this is above the ground otherwise you will be spawned below and we are falling down that's because uh, it takes a second to generate the world so maybe we can just add some cube underneath the spawning location so we don't fall down Okay, now if I play, this is the word. And if I move forward, I can pick up the rifle and show. Alright, now the next step is dig in the terrain. So for that, it's actually very simple. Here, let me open the rifle. Uh, this is the pick. No, let's use this. Uh, open this PP first person projectile. This is the bullet or the spear that you shoot from the gun. So here you have this hit event, and if it is simulating physics, if the object that this spear hits is simulating physics, it will add an impulse and destroy the actor. So when we hit the ground it will not be simulated in physics of course uh, so to keep things simple let's try this let's cast to voxel world so i usually avoid casting and replace with blueprint interfaces but just for testing this prototype I'll use casting and here if the hit object if the object that this bullet hits is the voxel world then we can get a voxel world reference here and here under voxel you have all the things that you can do so you see there's a lot of stuff but what I'm interested in is remove a sphere. So a sphere shaped area will be removed from the position in the voxel world. So let's say 250 as the radius. And after that, I want to destroy the bullet. So destroy actor and the position is whatever the location of the bullet when it when the hit happens so get that to location all right let me save this okay and play the game here now go and collect the weapon and after that you can shoot and dig a hole uh, 
and just like this you can dig your cave okay simple and yeah that's all i want to do in this episode and another thing that you should notice is uh, here we also have add spear yeah this one so this will let me just demonstrate that as well so what this will do is add in a spear shape part into the level Try this. Oh wait, I think I did not define a radius, so let's make it 100. So, like this, you can dig holes and also you can fill. So if you want to do both digging holes and filling holes, uh, you can perhaps create two bullet types that one is digging holes and one is uh, filling holes. And then uh, maybe you can shoot this yellow, the digging hole bullet with the left click and the filling hole bullet with the right click. And you can assign those two actions in the weapon, but that is not in this is in the scope of this tutorial so i'm not gonna do that here so but yeah if you're interested in knowing let me know in the comments and thanks for watching as always updated pilot files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and feel free to let me know what you guys think about this and other things that you would like to see in this project don't forget to like and subscribe see you in another episode goodbye